Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm your host Rama, and in today's video I will be finally getting my hands on the nightclub in Grand Theft Auto Online. The nightclub is by far one of the best businesses in the game, and there's a lot of YouTubers out there that say it is not a good beginner business, however I completely disagree. In today's video I'll be showcasing why on my brand new Rags to Riches account Getting your hands on the nightclub is actually a very important purchase and can help you massively in the long run. First of all, we gotta purchase our nightclub. I don't care about the lighting style, none of this really matters, this all costs money and you don't need it. The only thing that we need is the five levels of storage, which is obviously expensive at 1.7 million, but you're going to need to get it one way or another down the line to earn as much money as possible. So there you go. We are purchasing everything we need for the nightclub. That is 2.8 million dollars completely drained from our account. We have 550,000 left. Time to sit through a five minute long cutscene talking to Tony, which this I've already to talked to many times in the past. It's been about two hours since I set up my nightclub. And the reason why is because we need money. Right now I've got $2.6 million sitting in my bank account. And that is down to the fact that we obviously need to purchase ourselves the nightclub upgrades. These are both very important. We need the equipment upgrade, which is going to be 1.4 million. This is going to make everything better throughout the productivity of this business. And we also need to purchase the staff upgrade for an additional $475,000. These two upgrades are absolutely important to get your hands on. The staff upgrade is going to make sure that your daily reputation does not go down as fast. You want to keep this up as much as possible. Thankfully, it's a pretty cheap upgrade. The other upgrade will install higher quality equipment. This will improve the productivity of your warehouse technicians. Speaking of warehouse technicians, that is where we are currently bottlenecked, but not for long. You see, a lot of YouTubers will say, that the nightclub is a bad business because of the fact that you can't get your technicians on businesses early. However, I disagree with that. Some of the most profitable businesses for the warehouse technicians are cargo and shipments. These are the hangar or special cargo. We have sporting goods. This is the bunker. And we also have things obviously like the coke lockup, pharmaceutical research, which is the math lab, organic produce, which is the weed factory, printing and copying is just useless, but we also have cash creation. And we can actually get cash creation, cargo and shipments, and sporting goods set up within about 20 minutes, and I'm going to showcase right now how. Let's start off with the easiest of the bunch, and that is the bunker. Making our way over to Maze Bank foreclosures, you will see all the bunkers. However, there's one in particular that we care about, and that is the Polito Forest Bunker. We can get this for absolutely free right now. The reason why is because any new copy of GTA will Sorry. also give you the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack bundled in. This will give you a free bunker and a free counterfeit cash factory, plus a free office building. That's actually huge, and it immediately allows us to get two businesses set up for our nightclub. So now I gotta go sit through another cutscene and deal with Agent 14 in the bunker. I'll be back. One long cutscene later, we have got our bunker set up. As we can see, Agent 14 is still messaging me. We are now going to head over to our motorcycle club. We do need to retire from being a CEO so that we can obviously become the president of our motorcycle club because now we are going to get our hands on the counterfeit cash factory, which is nice because it's actually one of the more efficient businesses for the motorcycle clubs. So there you go. We have our counterfeit cash factory. Now I obviously have to head over there and I have to go do another setup mission for our counterfeit cash. The good news is once we do these setups, there's really nothing else we have to do as of right now. And there we have it. Counterfeit cash has been set up. I'm not going to purchase any upgrades or really do anything with this business as of right now. It's just nice that we have it set up so that once again, we are able to make more money with our nightclub. But that brings us to one final property, and that is a CEO special cargo building. Now, the great thing is you don't need to buy an expensive warehouse to make money with your nightclub. All you need to do is buy any warehouse. So as we can see in front of us, there's a lot. And some of these are very expensive, ranging upwards of 1.9 to 3.2 million dollars but we don't care about the expensive ones we are here to look at the cheap ones now in my opinion one of the best is the white widow garage 
very cheap, $360,000. But right now, we're just looking at all of them. That one's 250, 392, and we also got 318,000. Well, we are gonna buy the $250,000 warehouse. It's in a decent location, to be honest, and because it's so inexpensive, we don't even need to worry about it. So there you go. We now own a building, and we also got a free CO vehicle, which is actually kind of nice. So now we have a counterfeit cash factory, we have a bunker, and an office building, and all that cost us was $250,000. So let's head back over to our nightclub. And would you look at that, making our way over to the warehouse technicians tab, we now have cargo and shipments, sporting goods, and cash creation available for our technicians. So we are going to assign the first one on cargo and shipments. We are going to hire the next technician for $140,000 on sporting goods, and we're gonna hire the next one for $180,000 on cash creation. Just like that, we now have three, wait, did I, yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. We're all good, all these guys are on their own separate goods. So we now have three technicians sourcing us money. We don't need to lift a single finger. I'm literally a level 31, and I've already got my nightclub basically fully finished, which is kind of crazy. All I need to do in the future is get my hands on a coke lockup and a math lab, which isn't really that expensive. It's only gonna cost me around 1.2-ish million. Again, you don't need to buy the upgrades for any of the businesses to make money with them. So it's really just super easy. And the craziest part about all of today's video is the major reason I got my hands on the nightclub isn't even shown yet, but we're gonna break into it right now. But we have to get some extra cash. I only have $184,000 sitting in my account, which is not enough. I need to get probably closer to about $400,000. Thankfully, as it's a new week, we are gonna start off by doing a time trial. Well, that was a little bit tricky, it took me about two attempts, but we were able to get it with 54 seconds on the clock, and there you go. We now have $285,000 in our account. Pretty dang nice. You see, the final and most important reason, in at least my eyes, why the nightclub is an absolute must-have business for a low-level player is this van right in front of me. Yes, it looks like a van that would be giving away free candy to children, but in reality, it's quite amazing. You see, this van comes with your nightclub for free, and you have the ability to upgrade it. And by the way, you can get all of the upgrades as a level one, which is kind of crazy. There's only one upgrade we're gonna focus on though, and that is the primary weapon upgrade, which is the remote minigun for $285,000, and the proximity mine upgrade for $99,000. Nothing else matters. We only have $10,000 left, but it really doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, it's only gonna cost me probably about another 150 or $200,000 to get the speed and armor upgrades, but I should point out to you that you don't really need much more on this van. First of all, it might look pretty useless, but it actually does come with semi-bulletproof glass, meaning that if somebody's trying to shoot you, as we can see, it will take a decent amount of rounds before it is broken into. And it gets even crazier. The remote minigun that you can get at level one, well, it is kind of devastating. We can see just how quickly it is able to cause mayhem to cars and people around us. This minigun is exactly the same damage as the weaponized Tampa. The difference is that you don't need to spend 18 months unlocking bunker research. You get this automatically. And it has proximity mines. Indeed, this aren't your lame EMP mines. These are literal exploding mines which deal the same damage as a sticky bomb. So yeah, the Vapid Speedo Custom is probably one of the best early game vehicles for any beginner to get their hands on. Sure, it might not be winning in speed, but if you're trying to complete any missions, whether it's for your agency or really any property, the Vapid Speedo Custom is an absolute dub. And you can call it in very easily. Scrolling over to Manage Vehicles, we can see it right there. It takes that little effort to call it in. It works like any other personal vehicle. So, uh... Yeah, there's really no reason to not get your hands on the nightclub. It's super easy to set up and get your warehouse technicians done, and pretty easily too. The only real thing that you're gonna have to grind for when it comes to the nightclub is initial cash to get the business set up, probably close to four or five million dollars. Because obviously it's gonna cost you around two million dollars to buy the nightclub and get the five levels of storage. But after you get the five levels and the nightclub, you're also gonna have to purchase the upgrades 
for the building and the warehouse technician. So I'd be saying you're looking close to $5 million. Yeah, that's a lot of money, but I can guarantee that within a couple weeks you will be making all that money back and it's definitely worth it. Plus, you're going to be using the other businesses you set up to get this working, and you'll be using the Vapid Speedo Custom for missions definitely in the future. So when you weigh all the downsides, which is the initial amount of money you need to set it up, versus the upsides, I can tell you for a fact, this is by far one of the best businesses to set up early game. You're just going to be making money over and over again. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully this video helped you out, and if it did, make sure to click that subscribe button down below as I post beginner guides, I post experience guides, anything that you need to know, you'll find it here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.